Hey guys, Ozimo Pokemon here, and today I decided to bring back a series that I did a long time ago on this channel, but I decided to bring it back because, I don't know, I just thought like doing some more competitive guides, so today, as you saw by the title, we are going to be focusing on Charizard, and through this video we are going to be looking at Charizard X, Y, and just regular Charizard, uh, which is played in the NU tier most of the time so uh, if you guys want to see more of this type of video make sure to leave a like subscribe and tell me in the comments because that definitely helps me out and uh, yes yeah, so let's just get right into it and start with Megazard X now Charizard X is probably one of the greatest Dragon Dance sweepers in the game uh, probably apart from Zygarde this is one of the best sweepers in the OU tier simply because of its ability Tough Claws as you can see here uh, has their contact moves multiplied by 1.3 times which is just insane for moves such as uh, Dragon Claw and Flare Blitz uh, now this last slot here a lot of people like to run Earthquake which is good but if you really wanted to you could also run Thunder Punch or even Crunch if you wanted to because they are contact moves and therefore powered up by the Tough Claws now here is a lot of this is what causes a lot of dispute amongst players is whether you use Adamant or Jolly. See, I like to run Jolly simply because even with the Dragon Dance boost, there are a lot of Choice Scarf users such as Greninja and Caldeo that are still going to outspeed you even with the Dragon Dance, even if you have Jolly as well. So that's probably one of the downsides using Charizard. But there are a lot of Choice Scarf Pokemon that will outspeed you if you don't have the Jolly nature. So you definitely want to uh, make sure you're running that so just to make sure that you're outspeeding everything. And honestly, this is enough attack plus the tough claws to get you through almost everything so with Charizard it's not really a problem so anyway let's move on to Mega Charizard Y which uh, this is just a full four move uh, fully offensive Charizard Y I do have multiple sets but this is just an example of all these different moves it gets it's got fire blast solar beam air slash and focus blast but the main thing that makes Charizard Y so good is that it's got drought and as you know, it summons a sunny day, which means Fire Blast is boosted, sun, uh, sorry, Solar Beam uh, actually instant charges up, which gives it a nice uh, grass, high power grass coverage, which is very good, it means it can take care of water types quite easily. And uh, the one thing you're going to have to look out for is that it's got pretty low speed. Uh, at only 100, it's only going to be outspeeding a couple walls, maybe. Uh, and it's got very poor defense as well. Uh, special defense is not that bad, but uh, physical, physical attacks definitely threaten this thing. So you're definitely gonna uh, watch out for that. So basically, Charizard Y uh, is pretty good uh, for Sun teams, obviously, so you don't have to use another Sun Pokemon like Torkoal or Ninetales, because they are, to be honest, pretty uh, bad Pokemon in general to use on a team. And uh, Next, I have another set of Mega Charizard Y here, and this is actually a three attacks and roost set. This is more, the more common set, uh, but definitely you're going to see Charizard Y a lot more in doubles because uh, X is definitely a lot better for single battles because of the uh, sweeping ability. Uh, but Mega Charizard Y is still seen in singles sometimes, and this is the set you'll probably see a lot, and that's Fire Blast, Solar Beam, Focus Blast, and Roost. You're probably not going to need the Air Slash coverage. Uh, everything's mostly covered by... The Focus Blast, Solar Beam, and Fire Blast, uh, and the Roost is good to have just to stay around longer, because if they've got Stealth Rocks up, and obviously Stealth Rocks do 50% to Charizard Y and regular Charizard, uh, you're going to need to either uh, have Roost to heal up the health, or preferably you're going to want Defog or Rapid Spin. Uh, it's a must-have for Charizard. You've got to have a Hazard Remover or some kind of Hazard Control, because without that, Charizard loses to everything. Moving on to, uh, this is just another set, kind of similar to this one, uh, for Charizard X, it is 3 attacks and Roost, uh, these are usually the attacks you see, uh, Earthquake, uh, on this set I definitely, uh, don't recommend using Thunder Punch, simply because you don't have the Dragon Dance boost, and I think you should just stick with Earthquake on this one, in particular, it's got good coverage against, uh, those Rock types, and, uh, it's the same kinda thing here, uh, maybe you want to run a bulky Charizard. I've never seen it being used before, uh, except for when I've battled some people that I know. I've seen bulky Charizard X, but uh, I really just recommend sticking with the speed, uh, even though it is not the fastest. But this set is probably not as common as the Dragon Death set, but it is still uh, pretty useful if you want to use it on your team. Now, next up, uh, let me just say that for Mega Charizard X, uh, you can throw it on almost any team and it'll work uh, because you don't have to. You don't have to run. 
uh, rapid spin, but you definitely want to get the uh, Mega Evolution off early so you're not taking 50% every time you switch in. Uh, but anyway, moving on to regular Charizard, and this is just a regular belly drum set. Uh, it is not used more than the next set I'm going to show you, but uh, it is uh, what people used to run back in Gen 6 and uh, Gen 5 as well, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure how Charizard did in Gen 5. I think Typhlosion was a bit more popular in the lower tiers, but uh, Charizard with the belly drum, flare blitz, earthquake, and rock slide has good coverage against almost everything in NU. Uh, there are a couple Pokemon you want to uh, definitely look out for. I tried using this in NU. Uh, Mega Ordino uh, survives every single hit at full health, including Flare Blitz. Uh, it survives it every time, especially most have defense EVs. Well, yeah, it'll survive. If it has defense EVs, uh, it completely it can take out your Charizard uh, if it has the right tools. And uh, you want to look out for Melamar because Melamar can switch in and start setting up on Charizard quite easily. Basically, any other setup Pokemon can set up on Charizard uh, if you have to take a turn to set up. So you've got to be very careful with that. Uh, but if you know the correct time to send in Charizard, you'll be good to go. And this set, I think it's a little bit better uh, because the main problem about Charizard is its speed. And as you know, Z Sunny Day boosts your speed as well as setting up the Sunny Day. Now, if you have a switch in and you've caught someone off guard, maybe you've got a bit more momentum than they have and you can set up the Charizard, of course you're going to go for the Z Sunny Day and you've got the coverage with the Solar Bleam, Fire Blast and the Focus Blast. Honestly, this is a really good sweeper. Uh, it's a bit harder to pull off than the Belly Drum, but it definitely at higher uh, ranks as you progress, this is going to be a lot more effective as the belly drum can be shot down a lot easier uh, but this set is definitely very useful if you guys want to test it out um yeah so if you guys did enjoy this video today make sure to leave a like tell me in the comments uh which pokemon you want me to uh, want me to do next so uh the most liked uh comments uh for pokemon that you want to see next will be done in the next video and with that i will see you guys all in the next video